Hi, my name is Claude Yancey. I'm from Chicago, Chief of Cardiology at Northwestern University, Feinberg School of Medicine. I'm delighted to be here at HFA 18 and to be supporting the ESC TV. I just finished sharing a brilliant session, one that I think is very important and was in fact very informative, addressing the treatments for acute decompensated heart failure when drugs are not enough. We've been looking desperately to find a drug or regimen that would alleviate at least the symptoms of acute heart failure and maybe even improve outcomes, but we've been unable to find that. But what about devices? There's several ways you can think about devices. One way is mechanical circulatory support devices for those that have impending shock or frank shock. The other is thinking about coronary revascularization understanding if addressing that particular set of procedures would be of benefit. The same could be said for structural interventions, thinking about valvular heart disease. One thing that we've been pursuing for a very long time is using mechanical methodologies to affect renal replacement therapies. That too is something very important. And finally, what about ventilation? Let's think each one in particular. If we think about mechanical circulatory support, the evidence for the intraortic balloon pump in acute coronary syndromes is essentially nil. We really have to think about other kinds of devices and realize that we don't really have any evidence to help us understand what to do with those devices in decompensated heart failure, and it's largely clinically indicated. If we think about coronary revascularization, the culprit shock trial has been very important, telling us that if we focus on the lesion that's caused the coronary event, outcomes are better, but again, those studies didn't include acute heart failure per se. If we think about renal replacement therapy, we're struggling because the evidence for ultrafiltration has been essentially nil, maybe the studies weren't done well, and then finally, if we think about mechanical ventilatory support, we know that ordinary use of oxygen probably isn't the best strategy. Non-invasive ventilation in some people may help. The very short version is this, we need more research. Whether it's drugs or devices, we need more research. We take care of their patients, relieve their symptoms, but we really are struggling to find an evidence-based approach with drugs or devices that will help. The good news is that we have a lot of devices to pick from, we have a lot of research opportunities, the same for drugs, but really we need to come together as a community and keep studying acute decompensated heart failure. Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.